Hey guys, welcome to Soulful Creation. I'm Priscilla. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that bell notification for my next video. So guys, I know it's been a while since I did a basket, so here we go. So guys, this is my first time doing a Father's Day basket or a men's basket. You guys know I do all year brown baskets, but today I wanted to give you guys some Father's Day ideas. Now, all of my products came from Dollar General. Some things were a penny and some things I got at a clearance event. So I'm going to point out some things that I got Got for a penny and some things i got for, at the clearance event but i don't know how much everything costs i do know the penny items though let me show you guys what i got now this beautiful basket right here which i absolutely love i got at a penny guys as you can see it was halloween so we picked up this mini tabasco wall basket and it's suitable for men and then we picked up this suave i think it might have been 45 cent i picked this up last week for a penny this right guard sport cool and it is the 2.6 ounce and we also picked up some Nivea this was at the clearance event not sure how much it was but I know I used the coupon so it was not expensive and then I picked up this con sport for men hairspray that was a penny as well picked that up last week so guys let's get into this video and let's make this basket so I have some green tissue paper as you can see our colors today is green brown we're doing masculine and i might use this green ribbon right here i'm not sure and the shred i'm using is going to be the brown and maybe the green i might throw some white in there not sure at all but let me show you this i picked this up when easter went 90 percent off so this was 10 cents so happy about that okay let's get into this y'all so i have to move i set up everything you know how i want it but now i have to move everything so i can show you how to do this tissue paper now we're going to see because I don't know how the tissue paper going to go. Now, I don't want it to overtake the look, so we'll see. I think I might cut this because I want I want to show the basket. So I might just cut it in half. I have my handy dandy scissors right here. This is my sewing scissors, but I love cutting with this. So I'm just going to cut this down the middle off camera because I am sitting at the table, y'all. I've been gardening all day. I've been dealing with the animals all day. So, sister girl is tight, y'all. So, let's see how we're going to put this. Uh, let's see. Should I sprinkle it up and make it look like, yeah, tissue? Yeah, let's do that. I do not want my shreds to come out of the basket. So, I think that'll be good. I'm going to set up the basket back and then I'll add the shred at the end. So, we have our hairspray. We have our body wash. This has menthol in it and yuzu. I don't know what that is, but that's what it has. It has 24 hour freshness. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to put our right guard there as well as our two suave soaps. It's hot, y'all. So this is a good basket for men. <laughs> Let me fix my tissue paper. Okay. Right there. And now what I also do is I tape everything. Guys, I left the tag on. I take off the tags. I do suggest you do that. So I'm going to cut that right there. Move that bad boy to the side. And I'm going to tuck the tissue down a little more. I'm going to use cellophane wrap as well. I am still looking for my shrink wrap. It's in one of these uh, buckets. <laughs> it's in one of my totes. So I don't know where that's at. Alright, so now let's throw our shred in there. I do not want this covered up, so I don't know if I should move this over a little bit. Yeah, let's move this a little bit like that. So they can see that it's body wash, but then it's not going to be level. I don't know. I think it's fine. All right, let's put it back together because I have to tape it, y'all. All right, so I'm going to tape this bad boy together because I want it to be stable. Okay, I'm going to lower that because that looks kind of tacky. We're not going to do that. All right, y'all. So let's tape this together right here. I told you, it's a learning process. This is my first time doing it. So this is like a live video if I can get it off. And it's hot in here, y'all. So this tape is going to be acting funny. It's stuck on my hand. It don't want to come off. But that's live. <laughs> Now, mind you guys, it's 88 degrees today in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, bear with me with this tape. I don't know how this tape going to be acting. So, I'm going to put it at the bottom because I do not want it to be shown. 
And then we're going to put our soap in there, our two bar suave soap in there. And I'm going to tape this on the side. So let me stand up. I'm going to tape that on the side. And tape that together. And then I'm going to add the right guard over here. So I do want this to be shown a little bit. But it's going to throw it off. I have to put it there. I don't know. Can I do it here? Let's see. Let me get the tape. Let me see. It's going to throw the balance off, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try. Okay. I'm going to tape. put two pieces of tape there. Let's see what happens. Let me see. Because I do want them to see what the product is, family. I do want them to see that. So I'm going to turn this basket around so I can show you how I take the back. Okay. So do not be afraid to use tape. Tape is your best friend. Or glue dots, glue, glue guns, whatever you got, family, whatever you got. Okay, the deodorant's trying to run away. Okay, let's take that bad boy up. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let's turn it back around. And then we're gonna add our shred, family. So I like mixing up my shred. Sometimes I do that. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to add the brown shred in there. We're going to put this here to fill some spots. And guys, I love the bullshit. I get a lot of peace and quiet. If you guys don't know, I'm a mom of three. So, you know, being a mom, it gets very, very noisy. So I'm happy to have this peaceful spot. So what I do with this is I rip it up because it's so long. So... I'm going to rip it up and mix it up in there like that. Get more pieces over here. Throw some over there. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit more. I was going to add white, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put some in the back. Put some over there. And that's, a, that's about it. Now, on, now, when you do this, you save your shred, guys. You don't have to put your shred first. Save your, your stuff because it does cost money, okay? It definitely does. And clean up as you go. That's what I do. Comment down below and let me know if that's what you do. Do you clean up as you go or you just clean up at the end or do you do once a week? So, guys, here go our basket. So, that's what it is looking like today. All right, so let me get my cellophane wrap and I will be right back. All right, family, we are back. So, here goes cellophane. I picked this up from Amazon. I think it was $12.99. So what I do is I just put it in the middle, where I think the middle is, and I use my pipe cleaners to tie it. First I measure, of course. Okay, hopefully I did not cut this too short. Let me push it down a little bit. Now, shrink wrap is a lot better because you can suck everything up and it won't move. It's way better. But I still have to find mine, y'all. I know I'm still organizing and still cleaning stuff up, so... We're going to use what we got, baby. We're going to use what we got. And, guys, I had to cancel tomorrow because tomorrow is Shabbat. And it's going to be 93 degrees. So, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I've been doing a lot this week. And I guess we're just going to do the yard sale on Sunday. So, what I do here is I just gather, gather, gather. Gather everything. I was going to fold it, but I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to do something different. Gather it all together like such. Pull it tight. And put it all together, y'all. I think I did cut this a little too short, but it's fine. You easily tape that like that. Get what you got. We ain't wasting no material over here. Okay? We are not doing that. Not today. So I have my little white pipe cleaner. Now, you don't want to do it too tight. You want your products to still stand up. Like I said, we'll take that bad boy over there. So, we're going to tie our pipe cleaner. Tie it really tight. Okay. All right, now let's get the tape. We're going to take this bad boy together. We're going to put a nice big bow. <laughs> Cover up that right there. So, we're going to tape it. Take that over there and make sure it's standing up how you want it. There you go. 
So we're going to just put a nice big bow to cover that. And we're going to call it a day, y'all. That was nice and easy. It maybe took like 15 minutes. Now, what does take the time is the bow, y'all. So I'm going to show you a bow. My first time ever doing it on a video. And we're going to see how this go. So I do have wire burlap right here. Let me move this bad boy back so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is just, you know, take some ribbon. I told you I'm going to make a big bow, so I'm going to take a nice amount. Now, this, guys, I picked this up at a clearance event. It might have been, like, a quarter. Like, it was so cheap. I picked this up at Dollar General. So, I don't know if I'm going to use the green or not. We'll see. So, I don't measure. I just, you know, take what I want. So, I learned this for Birth and Bosses with Felicia, guys. So, we'll see how it turns out. I'm just going to pinch that together. And since it has both sides, I'm just going to twist it and make another loop. And then I'm going to pinch it together. Like so. And then I'm going to make another loop and pinch it together. And then I'm going to twist it. You don't have to twist it, but I'm used to twisting it. And then we're going to pinch it together. Make another loop. Pinch it together. I think I forgot to twist, but it's fine. I'm going to twist right here. And then I'll make another loop. And pinch it together. And then I'm going to get my... Matter of fact, I could just put it right on here. I hope you guys can see this. Let me put it up. So this is why we have these little pipe cleaners right here. So... Just twist it, baby. You twist and you twist. Twist it nice and tight. And you twist and you twist. And then we're going to open this bow up. Cut it, of course. We're going to open this bow up and make it look pretty. But still masculine. There we go. Shout out to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. If you have not checked out her channel, go and check her out. Tell her Priscilla Budget sent you. So we're going to do our ducktail. She showed me how to do that as well. So, I'm going to open this up first. And what I like about the wire ribbon, it is so easy, guys, to adjust and, you know, play with. I love it. If you're new to making ribbons, get some wire ribbon. And, guys, we were really lucky, I told you, to get this because ribbon is expensive. You guys have never uh, uh, paid for ribbon. It's very expensive. It is not cheap. So, I was so hyped when I saw all of those uh, burlap wire ribbon. Because I knew I was going to do a gift basket business. So, that was really exciting to find all of that. So, here go your ducktail. Right here, you put that together. And you just cut, baby. And that looks so professional. Absolutely love that. Then we have another one over here that I'm going to do. Just put it together. And you cut. Here go your ducktail. And you play with this and... You make it how you want to make it. I sit and play with it for a while, y'all. I play with it for a while. I think this big one going to go on top. Now, it doesn't matter if you do different sizes, y'all. Your creation is your creation. What you do is what you do. Okay? So, you just open it up, play with it, and make it to your liking. It might take you about five or ten minutes. This ribbon will take you the longest. <laughs> Besides making the basket. Like, it will, it will take you the longest, for real, guys. It will, but this is what it looks like right there. All right, and now I think I am going to add like some green, like little hanging ribbon. I think I'm going to add that. A little piece, not, not too big. So let me cut that. And let's see if I can tie this bad boy around here. And let's see if we can do to make some color. Because I'm all about color, y'all. I'm all about color. We're just going to simply tie it. We're going to make some more ducktails and call it a day. Yeah, I think that really made it pop. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. I absolutely love it. So let's do some ducktails. Turn it inside out. And you make your ducktails. There you go. Let's do another one. There you go. Yes, that definitely does it. This is our basket, guys. Let me turn it around. Nice and slow for you guys. 
there we go please comment down below and let me know what you think about the basket all right guys if you like this video you know what to do hit that like button subscribe comment share and all that good stuff shalom family oh let me add one more thing so if you don't like this as well you could just simply cut that cut this one and you'll have this ribbon right here but me personally i'm gonna leave it because just so all that work okay we're gonna leave that bad boy like that all right shalom family bless you until next time